One of the most fun races every year in the NHL, in my opinion, is the Calder Trophy race, also known as the Rookie of the Year. Last season, the runaway winner for the trophy was Kirill Kaprizov, and despite a late run from Dallas Stars forward Jason Robertson down the stretch, Kaprizov ended up with 99 out of a possible 100 first place votes. So far this season, we have had a very strong rookie class and currently have three strong candidates who look destined to be finalists for the award. And we even have another couple of players who are pushing their own names into the conversation as the year rolls along. If you've been following the NHL closely this season, you likely know that as of now, the clear frontrunners for the Calder include Red Wings winger Lucas Raymond, Ducks forward Trevor Zegras, and Red Wings defenseman Moritz Seider. Lucas Raymond has been excellent for Detroit, becoming one of their top offensive players already in his first year, and currently with 13 goals and 39 points in 51 games. Zegers has been very good as well for Anaheim, coming in with similar numbers, 13 goals and 35 points in 45 games, including providing the NHL with some of the nicest and most creative goals you could ever want to see. But, in my opinion, the player that has stood out the most and has shown the ability already to really take over a game is Mo Sider. And if the season ended today and I had a vote, he would most certainly be getting mine. As much as I've enjoyed watching those other guys as well as someone like Anton Lundell, who is also having a fantastic rookie year. At just 20 years old, Sider is currently tied for second in NHL rookie scoring with his 35 points in 51 games. He's also already established himself as the best defenseman on his team and his coach has clearly put plenty of trust in him as well because he leads all Red Wings in average time on ice too. This guy is also showing that he can really do it all out there on the ice. He's been able to get key time on the power play for Detroit and leads the team in power play assists right now with 13. He also leads the team in block shots currently with 98, 20 more than the second place to Kaiser. He has brought his physicality to the NHL with him too, third on the team in hits, and with many of them being highlight real worthy. Kid also just simply won't back down from anyone, not even the biggest superstars in the league, and he's shown that he isn't afraid of a big moment either. Mo has scored five goals so far this season, and three of them are game winners, including a few overtime ones. The only players on the wings with more game winners are forwards Tyler Bertuzzi and Dylan Larkin, who have five and four. Even Lucas Raymond only has the one game-winning goal so far this year. In the last 10 seasons, only two defensemen have won the Calder Trophy. Kale McCarr won it in 2019-20 for Colorado, and Aaron Ekblad for Florida in 2014-15. McCarr would beat out Quinn Hughes to win it just a few years ago, and Ekblad slightly edged out Mark Stone and Johnny Gaudreau during 14-15. The point is, defensemen often do get overlooked in the Calder Trophy vote due to the fact that they usually don't put up quite as many points as the forwards. But this year, the top three guys are all very close in points, and that includes the D-man Sider. When Ekblad won, he did have significantly less points than both Stone and Goudreau, and he was still recognized for the award, so it can certainly happen. And like I said, as much as I love watching both Raymond and Zegers, it's hard to look past the impact that Sider has on his team already. And I feel like at this point, Sider means so much to the Detroit Red Wings, and has arguably been their most impactful player so far this season. This guy has proven to be a star in the American Hockey League, the SHL, and now the NHL, and he looks like he will be the Red Wings' best defenseman for many years now, if he can stay healthy and keep doing what he's done all year long. And I know points aren't everything for a defenseman, but Sider is also 12th among all blue liners in scoring in the NHL with his 35 points, ahead of some huge names including Shea Theodore, Brent Burns, Zach Wierenski, and Charlie McAvoy. He truly is having a remarkable year, and I hope that he can continue this play and eventually get rewarded for his great work. Make sure to let me know down in the comments who you think should win the Calder and whether or not you agree with me that it should be Cider. Please consider hitting like and subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.